So, the Scarlet Chorus and Disfavored are at each other's throats. <laughs> Can't say I didn't see that coming, but the Archons might have waited until one war was over before they started another. Fighting with the Disfavored? Oh, not the call I would have made, but I'm sure you have your reasons. If you like iron weapons or something about that purple uniform excites you, then be my guest. Who can say? War is all about compromising your morals, decide- Let me make one thing clear, just so that there aren't any misunderstandings. You support Graven Ash, and I couldn't care less. I'm here because you've done what none of the Archons could. He's also a complete bastard, and I wouldn't want to miss an opportunity to stab him in the gut and take control of his army. So, there's that. I'll say this much, our time together is anything but dull. What do you need? You've just got to know, don't you? I suppose there's no point in hiding it. Barrack and I are siblings, and we share a father, if, if little else. I try not to think too much about some northern merchant dropping anchor in my mother's port, but it happened, and the fortunate result stands proudly before you. There were a lot of lazy days during the conquest, and among other things, I spent my off hours using messenger birds as target practice. <laughs> you should have seen Ash's anger when he heard that was going on. One day, I snagged a bird that flew from the hands of a proud northern daddy. The missive was about the goings-on at the family farm. I recognized the name and handwriting from a note in my mother's belongings. There weren't too many people named Barrack in the army, so tracking him down was no challenge. She tried to extort rings from me, and I was having none of it. Not even Graven Ash would think less of me for our father's indiscretion. I like your confidence, but my ring belt is feeling a little light these days. Maybe you want to take me up on that offer, or I can start whispering in disfavored ears. Think about it. I've tried to get along with that ironclad knot of repression, but it would seem he's having none of it. The most we do for each other is try not to get the other one killed, which is more than you can say for most disfavored in Scarlet Chorus. Well, Verse has a nasty habit of jabbering in my ear and making this war intolerable. I plan on parting ways and returning to the North at first convenience. My father will answer for his infidelity. Beyond that, I am happy to consider myself in every way unaffected. When you go back home, send father my fondest greetings and thanks. If he hadn't gone to ground on my mother's dry dock, I might not be here today. My heritage was a point of pride and distinction before I met you, Verse. Not that you would care. I've asked myself about that several times, but unfortunately I don't have what you'd call a definitive answer. The Northerners put a lot of meaning behind family and blood. Seems arbitrary to me, but I don't want to discredit it entirely. I told you about what happened to my Scarlet Fury sisters. The hesitation I experienced. Sometimes I wonder if that wasn't because of my connection to Barrack. I suppose there's no telling for sure, but if I had to guess... Yeah. Sometimes I get messed up in my head, and learning I had a brother has helped me understand that better. What do you need? The thought has crossed my mind from time to time. The big guy here is as useless as an empty scabbard without his phalanx to keep him alive, but I move fast enough to compensate for it. I would suggest that our fighting styles complement each other, but they do not. I would suggest that we get along, but we do not. We don't even finish each other's sen- Sentences? <sighs> okay, that was strange. Did you hear that? <laughs> the next time I catch a whiff of Barrack's meaning, I'm keeping my mouth shut. If you want to attach some arcane meaning to the whole thing, be my guest. In the disfavored ranks, the Oathbound seem to know more about synchronizing their efforts, and the same could be argued for the Scarlet Furies. I don't know how they pair up their units, but it isn't by virtue of blood. Absolutely not! Our fighting styles are incompatible, and any disfavored lieutenant will tell you not to join at the hip soldiers who can't stomach each other. I'm inclined to agree. If you want to pair up fighters, there has to be some great passion or magnetism between them. We don't have it. A valiant attempt, but I'm not as easily swayed by your courtly tongue. Neither am I. At least, not in this context. And so, civil war divides the armies of mighty Kairos. 
we find ourselves in the darkest times. Brothers and sisters who fought for a similar cause now skewer each other over blighted lands in the favor of distant powers. Backing the disfavored was the only logical choice. Whatever others might say about what happened in Vendrian's well, you acted from instinct. I can't help but respect that. What can I do for you? What is it you need? Now we're working with the disfavored. You want my advice? My advice would be to get close to Graven Ash and plunge a poisoned shiv in his ear. Well, if you're working with Graven Ash, give it your all. Offer to help the Archon of War with whatever he needs. The stronger the Legion, the weaker the Chorus. And if you get close enough to him, well, with enough trust, you could get very close to the Archon of War. I'm not saying it's a quick plan. But I think if you stay close in his confidence, the moment to strike will reveal itself in time. Ask away. Ask away. You know, I normally charge for this, but for you... Now, you know that's a very personal question. The knowledge I have is a centuries-old gift from the Archon of Tides.
You know, I normally charge for this, but for you... Ask away. We all know how to swim, and we all know how to fight. Most Northmen are lucky to make half that boast. What would you like to know? Aside from the ones you slew? Well, the Vendrian Guard were the most staunch opponents of Kairos. Was there a particular group you wished to discuss? The Unbroken is the name of the military of the now-fallen realm of Stalwart. Every a decade ago, Stalwart was the ass end of jokes tearsmen would tell each other. The people of Stalwart are obnoxiously proud of a long history of being invaded, but never losing. The disfavored put an end to their vaunted record of victory. The Unbroken still persist, albeit marginally so. The disfavored withdrew after the Edict of Storms began shredding the landscape. Their holdfast of Sentinel Stand Keep was never taken, and the citizen army, though scattered, could still be rallied. Kairos's war was disastrous to the human realm of Azure. But a stroke of good luck for the numerous beastmen that toiled in Azure's endless wheat fields. With the masters all dead, the serfs have been set free. The Stonestalkers are a tribe born from these newly freed beasts. I imagine they would never bow to Kairos or the Archons. Too many generations have been enslaved. I'd wager anything they'll die before they ever bow. Beastmen understand strength and leadership, but it's always in the concrete sense. I can't pretend to know how they think but I could never imagine them accepting an absent Prima. A distant ruler they can't see or smell seems a bit too abstract. The Bronze Brotherhood is one of the most feared and famous of the Free City mercenary companies. Most of the Brotherhood perished in the war, but a handful. The crew hired to work at Lethian's Crossing. They got to babysit the Forge Bound and survived the last few years with minor losses. The band is too small to be a serious threat to the disfavored or the chorus. But they are scourge-worshipping berserks that will adopt any enemy for the right price. Several sages came to our aid during the Second Battle of Vendrian's Well. I at first thought they meant to kill me. But instead they put their lives on the line for us. They spoke of others in their guild braving the Edict of Fire to salvage lore from the Burning Library. Though I may find them untrustworthy, it must be said that the sages have a certain... fearlessness toward the Overlord. Historically speaking, an alliance with the School of Ink and Quill is just asking to have your efforts stolen and your goals undermined. Mark my words, some things never change. Well, perhaps we can shove them in front of the enemy. And the ones that volunteered at Vendrian's Well weren't all bad.
Ask away. Not entirely sure. Which is to say, there was a time I studied my enemy in great detail. Ask away. I know a great deal of the mages of the tears, or at least their history. Most are dead now. Ask away. My one concern with Beric is that he's still loyal to Graven Ash and not to you. Beric seems steadfast, faithful, and dependable. But if it comes down to you versus Graven Ash, therein lies the test. We should consider ourselves fortunate that one of the most deadly members of the Scarlet Furies considers you a suitable gang leader. That said, I think her involvement with you is entirely suspect. Probably the only word thief I haven't wanted to dismember. Him? I'd merely play with an ice knife. Ask away. What is it you need? At your service, Fatebinder. What do you need? What did you have in mind? Well, if you're baiting me for a compliment, you're talking to the wrong girl. I don't have a gang anymore, and I wouldn't throw in my lot with any of the killers floating around the Scarlet Chorus ranks. The fact of the matter is you're doing important work. If that puts me at odds with my Scarlet Chorus ties, so be it. You've satisfied your curiosity, so let me satisfy mine. Why are you keeping a little scrap of a thing like me around? <sighs> I wonder what makes you so sure I won't cut your throat some evening just to hear you gurgle. My Lord Binder, you have something which requires my attention? What can I do for you? The thought has crossed my- The big guy here is as useless as an empty scab- Absolutely not! I'm inclined to agree. Now see here, Versus' temperament and unpredictable ways are an annoyance, but no challenge is beyond my skill. I'd rather watch you devour your armor one shaved off spoonful at a time. But since that isn't going to happen anytime soon, I suppose I'll make an effort. My Lord Binder, what can I do for you? My Lord Binder, what can I do for you? Suffice it to say, my armor and I will not be separated for the time being. My armor saved me from the destruction of Stalwart.
I got it. Thank <laughs> you. 